If you're a beginner and you've been struggling with your ambusher and you've tried everything but nothing seems to work, I'm gonna give you three ideas, three tips that will most likely fix your ambusher and will give you a way better sound than what you're getting right now, okay? Make sense? So, let's dive in. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna check your pressure, okay? If there's too much happening here, there's, you know, muscles doing too much, then what happens is you wanna start, you're gonna start closing the gap in here, you know, so there's not gonna be enough air going through. Make sense? So, and this is what I mean, check it out. What I'm doing is I'm close, I'm starting my note the normal way I play and then I'm starting to close and close and close and close and close and close and engage my muscles just until everything is closed and there's no air going through, okay? So if your sound is weird and funny and it's just not the way you want, it's probably one of the main causes that could be that there's too much happening in here. So there's just you biting, there's, again, there's too much engagement from the muscles and the embouchure in general, okay? So you wanna relax that, and you wanna go into the ocean sound, just check out the ocean sound video that I've done, I'm gonna put the link below in the description as well, so you can check that out, okay? It's basically how to teach your body to stay relaxed and just have the right amount of, of tension that you need. So, essentially is that. That's a great starting point to do. So you wanna check your pressure. Also, you want to check your pressure or position of your chin, okay? That's the second thing that we're going to uh, take a look at. The chin can really make or break, let's say, your sound, okay? Because, because of this thing. Check it out. Make sense? So what is happening here is if my chin is doing too much and is basically bunching them up like this, like this, you know, and putting all my pressure against the reed like that, you know, what is happening to the reed is just you're bringing the reed closer to the mouthpiece and there's less space for air to go through, okay? And that's where you're gonna get all, you know, low notes jumping out the octave. <laughs> like that, okay? So the idea is that you keep your chin natural, okay? Um, not too flat down, so you know, some people, especially classical players, tend to have the chin really flat, but the idea is that uh, whatever style you play is that the chin doesn't interfere with too much pressure on the reed, otherwise you're just gonna get, you know, weird sounds like that. So you wanna bring it down and naturally, there so there's the air can essentially can go through okay and the third thing is also about the chin so it's ma mainly chin independence okay in order to fix if you have any troubles with your with your chin okay just film yourself and so that's that's the way to check okay um if you have any troubles with your chin and then you see that your chin is doing this you know it's like bunching up like this okay the first thing i want to ask you is are you able to do this Can you go up and down with your chin, okay? Um, that's probably the first thing to to work on. It's not, you know, the end of the world. It's not a big deal, okay? You'll get it in in, in, in nothing. But it's it might be a little weird at the beginning because you're not used to moving your chin up and down like this. Okay, so I will practice this, you know. Once you're able to just kind of unlock the muscles in here, you know, it's gonna be easier for you to actually bring the chin down to a more natural position and avoiding that chin to interfere with, I just broken my reed, <laughs> interfere with the actual um, reed and, and, and airflow. sense so those three things are super super important so do check those by filming yourself and then analyzing the way you look um, if you cannot really feel it when you play which is possible okay filming yourself and recording yourself is actually something super super important to do to you know to progress
faster because you kind of become your own teacher. And um, anyway, so that's another topic for another video. <laughs> okay, cool. So hope that made sense. Leave me a comment here below with, you know, questions or comments and share things about your saxophone progress. And um, I wish you happy practice. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. We're starting to become a, a really great family here on YouTube on this channel. So I really appreciate that. And um, um, happy practicing and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.